back. It's hard to compete with some restaurant quality recipes, especially if the process takes days, not minutes. Today, Chef Eric Bond, the owner of Babar in Seattle, is showing us his secret recipe for pho. Check it out. Right here, we have prime brisket, oxtail, and then these are uh, beef marrow bone and also knuckle bones. And right there, that's the uh, shank meat bone in. Along with these amazing bones and meat, we, we need these uh, coriander seeds, my absolute favorite spikes, clove. Also, we have star knees. Uh, exists in all Asian cuisine and uh, along with these, these are fennel seeds. Meat, cam thảo, thảo quả. Those are cardamoms. Meat quế. And that's the special cinnamon, they call cassia bark. It's thicker and it more intensifies cinnamon spice. So after after these beef bones, along with uh, our meat, we soak them overnight, wash it individually, and then now we're gonna blanch it. These oxtails are from uh, St. Helen uh, Farm, which is mostly cows from uh, Washington area. And of course, right here we have Meyer Ranch prime brisket. Now all the beef bones and. Uh, brisket in. It's going to stay in here for close to 24 hours and then uh, tomorrow that's when we spice it. Uh, that means toasting of those herbs and seasoning with salt and rock sugar and uh, we'll be ready tomorrow. Now we arrived literally that was yesterday 24 hours ago and now this is what we get right now. Look at the little bit golden color from all that bone marrow, beef bone, and look at all these fatty, that's where the flavor is. So we try to uh, break it down so it's easier to toast. Otherwise, this is a big cigar roll. It will be hard to toast it evenly. So you see this breaking these and I notice a lot of uh, Vietnamese chefs don't really break them but I truly think that's the key to intensify even there you go. Now ready to steep in here for three hours. And then Uncle Tuan going to prepare three more because we kind of find, like I said earlier, a large steeper. So we we got three more. Same pro repeat the same process once again. Three hours. That's it. More than that, it darkened the uh, the stock. Less than that, it doesn't give a lot of the nose of hawa, uh, which which I think is so important. Cinnamon, clove, and star anise. Hi, folks. This is where all the aroma comes from. Check this out. Out right now, our kitchen, I wish you can uh, smell it. It's just full with star anise and clove, which is my favorite two spice. Now we're ready to, to do the last step, which is salt and uh, rock sugar. You can use uh, sea salt when you do a small batch at home, but we like to use coastal salts for the consistency because sea salt tastes different, varying from different parts of the world. Okay, so here we are. Stir it evenly, then we're gonna filter out. We will triple strain this, see the fine mesh, and then filter. One more fine mesh, so that 
so that it will be nothing impurity will come through here. I'm going to show you uh, how to make flower at home. Um, you can buy you can buy these in a dry package at uh, Asian market as well. Okay, at home you can have a pot of water and quickly blanch. Then we we'll put in brisket. These are, by the way, these are prime brisket. Okay. And then the top portion will be our eye round. Then you throw a little bit of hot broth over their thigh. And last but not least, put a little bit of fish sauce in there for flavor, one or two drops. As you can see, gloomy day in the Seattle Northwest, perfect for a bowl of pho. Okay, thank you, Chef. I have a little tip for making pho at home. Don't. That is the most, that looks so complicated, I would be lost in about five seconds.